join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, a bit of a haul today. I'm pretty excited. Adelaide Comic and Toy Fair, I was really excited to get there this year. Um, yeah, I've got a little bit of a haul to share, so I've got a few few things here which I picked up. I'm pretty excited. Um, yeah, I'm going to spin the camera around so we can take a look. Uh, it was a really good day. Um, yeah, the last, last couple of times I've been... Uh, been there as store holders with uh, with Kiss Run here and Collectibles. Um, we we didn't just we decided to pass on this one, uh, hoping later in October we can do another one. Um, but yeah, this one it was good to get along and just take a look, take a good look around the the show floor and the big event. Um, always get draws a big crowd. Um, but yeah, I was able to get quite a few figures and a few bits and pieces to fill some holes in the collection. So I'm excited. I'm gonna bust them open. Um, let's take a look. All right, here is the uh, the pile of goodies that I picked up. Like I said, good to sort of catch up with all the local collectors and, and toy sellers and everything. It's always good to sort of pick through bins of figures and, you know, got a couple of bags of figures here and a couple of carded ones. Uh, first off, Darth Sidious from the Legacy Collection, 10 bucks. This is one I've been, I remember seeing, I still remember this one peg warming on, on shelves back in the day. Never picked it up. <laughs> Finally decided to, uh, for a tenner, you know, this one will go nicely with the Phantom Menace shelf. Yeah, there's a good good wave of figures there. Rump's leg, Clegg Holdfast, Biker Scout, L8, L9 there. Yeah, still don't have nearly all the parts for that. I think I'm missing the torso and the head, but that's all right. So that's cool. Uh, this one was thrown in, five bucks. <laughs> uh, this is a... I didn't even pay five bucks, but, you know, for the purposes of, of, of an extra BB-8, um, you know, I don't need the extra Rose Tico or the BB-9E, but, you know, extra BB-8 can go on a shelf somewhere. I'll do something with the other two, where the Rose just sort of sits in the background with some Imperial, with some First Order officers and stuff. So, you know, for, for a freebie, I won't complain. Um, big thanks to uh, Darth Ozzy for that one. Yeah. I grabbed another figure off of him as well. Uh, one I've been sort of hunting for. Um, another one of these Force Link uh, Imperial Royal Guards. I've got three of them, and I've got one of the TVC ones, but I really like the mold of this this figure. Um, so I've been on the hunt for a, for a fourth, um, but yeah, failed to, failed to find one for a reasonable price anyway. Um, sort of, you know, as the years go on, they sort of increase in price. Um, but yeah, for 10 bucks, I thought, yep, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting him out. And, uh, you know, I wasn't so big on the uh, TVC version of the of the Royal Guard, so he might get delegated to, uh, to the unrobed version or he'll end up on another, on another shelf. So... That's pretty much all the carded figures I've got. I've got some loose ones. Um, yeah, sort of adding to the Power of the Force line. Grabbing a few there. Did get the the Rebel Fleet Trooper, which is one I haven't had. So yeah, trying to trying to build up the ranks of my Power of the Force two collection. Filling a few holes, so that's nice. I'm glad to have this guy. I did spot a few of these throughout the day. Um, this one, uh, just it was the cleanest one. You know, paint apps were good. Had the accessory. Um, yeah, it's just, and it was five bucks, so you know, can't complain about that whatsoever. Uh, another five dollar do figure I got. The other version of Prince Shizor, this is the one from the two-pack. He comes with the staff. Uh, just recently, I did my Power of the Force Friday video on Prince Shizor, the the other version. If I can grab him. No, I don't think the figures are, are different at all. Maybe slightly different. Yeah, slightly different in the arm moulds, but I think the rest of it's pretty much the same. So, yeah, it's nice to have... Both versions of this one. I don't know whether I'll end up doing a video on the new one or not, but still cool. I'm just trying to complete the line there. And then 
you know, the last the last one I got there was um, you know, Leia and Boosh Disguise. Whether this is the Shadows of the Empire version or just the standard Power of the Force version, I'm not sure. But again, complete with helmet, weapon and cape. You know, another five bucks. Cannot go wrong. So I don't think there was any difference between the Power of the Force and the Shadows of the Empire version. So that's cool. So another another one there to the uh, to the shelf. And just a couple other loose figures I grabbed. This was five bucks too. This is a good good Chewy. This is a really good Chewbacca figure. So um, which one is it? It's the two thousand four. Um, original trilogy VOTC Chewie which is still to this day one of the best Chewies out there um, still modern articulation you know it was well before it's time um, didn't come with any weapons so that but that doesn't matter it's just a just another one to sort of swap into the shelves with with a slightly lesser quality Chewbacca and then Grab this one as well. This is a couple of bucks. Um, I didn't realize I had it, but I'm looking up on my shelf now and I do have it. So hey, it is what it is. You know, sometimes I wasn't sure. Um, I'll find I'll find use for him, that's for sure. But that's okay. Not a big deal. I've got, again, didn't come with a lightsaber, but I've got spares. But it is what it is. Sometimes we double up, but, you know, Darth Maul's cool. Darth Maul's cool. And then last but not least, I did pack, pick up a bunch of old Tops trading cards. Um, it's 25 bucks for 10 packets. Um, so basically, they're the, these are the wide vision trading cards. So I'm going to do a little bit of a feature on these for the Phantom Manus, uh, which is going to be my sort of daily video series uh, for the entire month of May. So I'll, I'll be unpacking them during May. Um, and then I got a couple of packets of Star Wars Vehicles cards. So I'm actually going to do a separate opening for, for these packets and the other packets. Um, and again, the Wide Vision Attack of the Clones, which is something I never got any of back in the day. So I grabbed five packets of those. I thought, well, chances are pretty good. Um, and chance of authentic autographs in there. It's pretty good. So, yeah, ten packets for ten packets of cards for twenty five bucks. I was pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely save these for for filming and you know going over my existing uh, Phantom Menace Wide Vision cards. So they're quite cool. They're quite cool. So yeah, I think I did quite well for myself today. Um, yeah, Adelaide Comic and Toy Fair they do two a year. Next one will be in October, I believe. So yeah, I think I, did, I think I did pretty well. I probably didn't spend much more than, you know, seventy or eighty bucks. So I, I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I had a good day. Filled filled a couple of holes in the collection, and uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again this week for some more videos. I'll be unboxing these. Um, yeah, may the force be with you always.